because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Bobby Faulkner joins me, mate. Congratulations. That's 4-0 for you now. Um, no, it's not. It's 5-0. It's 5-0 for you now, sorry. Um, opening up the show tonight. Just kind of your initial reaction to your performance. Um, we're ecstatic with it. I was, I was just satisfied with it and uh, just done what, done what I had to do. I, I feel like I could have done more and tried more stuff with him, not even giving me anything. I should have, should have just, you know, tried a few new things out. But, I was, but um, good, another good learning fight and, and uh, yeah... Um, I'm happy though, I'm happy mate, Fucking, uh, it weren't really much that I'd done wrong, so yeah. Is it one of them things where obviously you've got to do this learning phase of your career, but it must be frustrating sometimes fighting someone who is giving you nothing, like there's only so much you can throw at someone who's just going to keep their gloves up and kind of walk in a circle. Well that's it, I feel like it's been like that every single time for me now, so um, it's five fights in and I feel like it's just the same thing over and over, it's a bit repetitive, so um, I'm looking forward to moving up the rounds and then hopefully moving up a, a, a level again. And in terms of moving up the rounds to six, obviously you're yet to get a professional stoppage. I know that's not something that will concern you, but are you one of them fighters who, as the rounds move up, you're kind of expecting that you will break fighters down, and that's kind of when that's going to show. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fit, I'm a fit lad, so um, I feel like, and I feel like, once we get past like the the, the five six rounds, I start like um, you get that second wind again, and I feel like I start opening people up. So hopefully that's 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 the direction I'm heading, and that's when I feel like because I'm not a big puncher. I like, happily admit I'm not a big puncher, but um, I'm a fast, sharp puncher. So I feel like over the rounds when they start slowing down a bit, and I'm still hitting them with them sharp shots, it's gonna it's gonna take some out of them. Obviously that's five and over you now, and I know we're coming up to just about a year since your debut. What was it last April? Yeah. Um, what would you say you've learnt from then to now about the pro game? Because obviously you would have thought about turning pro, kind of had different dreams, etc., and how you wanted your first year to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Has it been what you thought, and kind of what have you kind of made of how the whole pro scene's gone for you so far? Yeah, from a young age, I was always around the professional boxing, so I always seen the, the bad side of it all as well. So I was, I was expecting it, but you knew the ins and outs yeah, yeah, in of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, I, I've seen it all, and I've seen it happen a lot worse to other people, and it's happened for me. So I, I, I've been enjoying it, and I know, I know, I know, it's not, it's not really good times in the professional ranks apart from when you fight and then everyone else is, is, is hard but eventually if you stick to it then you, you've seen with a lot of local fighters if you do stick to it you know when you get when you get some late sweaties early 30s and big things can happen for you and in terms of them big things obviously 5 and 0 so I know you've got your head screwed on and uh, you, you've got a dream where does it end then this journey for you where do you look to go in your late 20s and your early 30s well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a very self-aware and realistic person, yeah, so I'd really like to win a British title uh, at weight, what, what, like, something like super, a super lightweight or lightweight British, British title, but um, we'll just see how it goes. I'm just just taking it fight by fight, and, ho and hopefully things will start looking up for me like next year, you know, you know le level-wise and title-wise and stuff like that. to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. 